YouTube and it's a wonderful day in the neighborhood and welcome to Powerfully You and I am Linda McDowell and I am a life coach and I just like all things girly makeup um, clothes helping women in their 50s and older to just feel comfortable in being who you are. Because as I, I am 56 years old, and as I age and go through life, I just like to share those experiences, even as a life coach. Because then, as you progress in age, it's a transitioning period, and, in, and life period is a transitioning period. As you move from one stage of life to the next, it's all about transitioning and how well do you transition. And I'm transitioning in life, you know, my children are older and grown now and it's finding things that I like to do and to share with other people. Um, and to, to help people be comfortable in their own skin as I'm learning to be comfortable in my own skin. Um, you know, and it took me a long time to be comfortable in my skin and comfortable with who I am and comfortable in my story. You know, um, lived 56 years. I've gone through some major transitions in my life. I'm married now again. Um, and my life has just transitioned. And this week I had an incident at work, which kind of made me very reflective and think over some things that how my life has transitioned. and how even 20 years ago, it seems like I was another person, person different than I am today. Today, I feel like I'm appreciative of all the things that I've gone through in my past. I've been married three times, not you know that I'm proud of that, but in those life experiences, I got married really young, um, and I got married again, and each life experience brought me to another level, and now I'm married again to a wonderful man. Um, but they, each one has been different parts of my life. And at first I was kind of like, I've been married three times, wow. But really it's like, I've been married three times. I've had different experiences in my life. I'm not apologizing for that. It happened, it was. I learned something from these three beautiful people that came into my life and showed me and took me to another level of my being. And I'm not apologizing for that. It is what it is and that it is and so I just invite you as we become older to accept all that has happened in your life and all the experiences in your life that have brought you this far because that you know when you think back on it I wouldn't be the person that I am today had I not gone through all of those experiences so I'm not apologizing for those experiences. I'm just saying those experiences helped me to be the person I am today. And no, I'm not perfect, but I'm a good person. And I'm proud of the person that I've become at this point in my life. So I don't apologize for any of those experiences. Yes, I made some mistakes and I made some hiccups, but I also learned so much. And the value of those experiences just brought me and helped me, shape me into the woman I am. So that was one of the moments that I had. So because sometimes difficult moments in your life become defining moments. So that difficult moment in my life, I really thank God for, but it has it helped me to see all the things that have occurred in my life to help me and to bring me here today. And it also helped me to reflect and see what I really want from this point on in my life. From this point on in my life, I really wanna be an entrepreneur, which I am, because I'm a life coach. I get paid for coaching jobs. I have clients. Um, and I'm transitioning into that full time as I end my career as a nurse. I'm coming to the end of that career. I hope maybe, you know, a few more years of that and then I can go into the coaching full time. But right now, if the, the clients and stuff are coming, that it may be sooner than that. But I see these transitions and that's the great thing about life, about the aging process, is that you see these transitions occur in your life and you become okay with them because life is about change and whether we like it or not change is the constant in life and you will keep transition transitioning and as you transition just like a moth to a butterfly you finally look and say wow 
I become a person that I, I like, a person that I wouldn't mind being around, you know, and that's what the aha moment for me was this week is that, yes, I've done some things in my life, some things I'm not so proud of, some things I'm very proud of, but all of those things, the marriages, the single mom, the transition I made when I had to raise my kids by myself, the working, all of those rich life experiences brought me to the point where I am today and I am grateful thankful for them and the aha moment for me with the difficult day that I had this week was that you know those difficult moments are defining moments and if you don't take the time to reflect on them take a deep breath and learn something from them you've kind of lost it and so sometimes those difficult moments in our lives forces us to ask life questions like why is this happening how am I ever going to get through this? When the, you can answer those questions, it brings you to destiny moments. You know, how am I going to get through this? Step by step, day by day, that's how you get through things. And so the difficult moments in our lives can be defining moments and they can be destiny moments. It's all about reflecting on it and asking the right questions. So I just want to have that few minutes to say that about how difficult, difficult moments can turn into defining moments if you ask the right questions. Why am I doing this? Why am I going through this right now? How can, how can I get through this? What does this mean? And when you keep doing things over and over that are a mistake, if you don't take those moments to just ask those questions, how did I get here? Why does this keep happening? And really truthfully answer those questions for yourself. Those are defining moments that can be destiny moments when you answer and take the time to reflect and answer those questions. So just a thought for the week, just something to think about. Catch you later, YouTube. See you then. Subscribe and give me a like. Thanks. Bye-bye.